We continue our quest to help you get swimsuit sexy as summer approaches with some safe self-tanning tips this morning that you have not heard before. Amy Sinet Denible is beauty editor at InStyle Magazine. Good morning, Amy. Good morning. I love these because it's not the usual stuff you hear about self-tanners. Exactly. We found a lot of tips that we had never heard before. Let's start with the first one. We all know that we're supposed to exfoliate before we self-tan, but you say not only exfoliate, but exfoliate the right way. Right. It's very important that you choose one that's very hydrating because if you use a salt-based scrub, it can actually dehydrate your skin and make your tan come out blotchy. So look at the ingredients as long as it doesn't have salt. No salt and look for extra moisturizer. Extra moisturizer. Number two, you recommend doing a gradual self-tanner. Why is that better? Well, it's great to start with a base layer because that way when you apply a deeper shade, you're much less likely to see any mistakes, any missed areas. What is the best time to exfoliate? You come out of the shower, I mean, to self-tan. You exfoliate, you dry up, and then you... Apply exactly. It. You want to do that the night before so that you get a base layer and that's really kind of going to goof proof your tan. Okay, so once you have this gradual self tanner, it's giving you your base layer, you want to go hardcore. Right. <laughs> this is when you apply your deeper level of self tanning. We recommend using an aerosol because it comes out in a very fine mist. You don't even need to rub it in. It's so easy to apply. This is really the second generation of aerosol, so it's very much like an airbrush tan you'd get at a salon. Let's show how it works. Andre's here and she's been using it. You could see clearly clearly the half that she has tanned and the half that she has not. It looks beautiful. Will you show me how to do it? Sure. Here we go. The key is that you want to be moving in a circular motion, holding it about six inches away from your body. And you can see that it comes out in a super fine mist. Yeah. You don't even need to rub it in. And it's got a little glow to it. Yeah, it has a tint, so you can see where you're putting it, and it will also give you an instant tan. So while the DHA develops, you'll actually have a glow already. Very nice. Thank you, Andra. Let's go to these. These are some new products out that you love. Why? These products are all great because they really represent the cutting edge of self-tanner. This product from Nivea actually reduces hair growth, oh. so while you're getting a tan, you're actually minimizing your need to shave, which is great because it prolongs your tan. And this one fights cellulite, cell you fight? Right. This is a great product because not only are you getting a self tanner but it has caffeine and various other extracts that will give you a temporary tightening effect. And the last one I heard smells really good. saint -Tropez. This is my personal favorite because what's amazing about this product is they've managed to neutralize the smell. They've chemically altered the molecule, the bad odor, so that you really can't smell it. That's In huge. the past, a lot of times with self-tanners, they would throw a fragrance on top of it, which is kind of like putting an air freshener in a bathroom. Right. It's just a, another version of bad. It's still under This there. is a just completely neutralized smell. It really won't bother you at all. Okay, let's talk about makeup. When we tan, we should not wear dark makeup. Our model, J came in with dark makeup. We want to show the before of her with the wrong makeup if you've just self-tanned. And then we'll talk about what she did afterwards. This is Jay before, and look at Jay now. Just looks so much, I'm looking at you right now, fresher, lighter. Amy, why don't you tell me uh, how you made her over? For summer, you really want to be wearing light shades, something that's going to reflect the light off your face. You want to be looking for things that have light reflect light reflecting properties. Um, you switch out your brown eyeliner for a more shimmery bronze eyeliner. Switch out the heavy matte lipsticks with something that's a little bit more fresh. Um, if you use dark colors on tan skin, it can make you look a little bit du muddy, dull and yeah. kind of muddy. So this gives you a much fresher look. All right, Amy, thank you so much. Jay, thank you thank as you well. well. You look great.